what's happening? Paul Ingram here at Collie Center. Welcome back to the Drill a Day Collie Training Series. We're on week six, day six, continuing our footwork training for this week. All right, so if you're just catching our Drill a Day series right now, every week that we've been uh, doing this series, I've been changing the area of collie. I've been changing the focus for every single week. First week, we did single stick. Second week, we did double stick and then so on. And week six, we've been focusing on some footwork. If you are brand new to the channel, if you're brand new to the series, number one is make sure to hit the subscribe button. Number two, hit that like button so that way I know you're training collie with me. And number three, check out the playlist to the Drill A Day series. That way you can start it all the way at the beginning. If you want to start with this week, that's cool, but it's also a good idea to start off in the beginning and then uh, work your way all the way up. All right, so for today, we're gonna need two sticks to map out our footwork. Any kind of two sticks is fine. If you're working on some kind of like, you know, like your driveway, you got like asphalt or concrete or something like that, you could even just draw it out with a piece of chalk. That's fine too. But uh, yeah, it's always a good idea to map out our footwork. So let's go ahead and get to week six, day six on our footwork training. For today's drill, today's footwork, we are taking a look at putting the reverse triangle and the forward triangle together, creating the diamond. So we got them to connected at the base. So I'm starting off, got the reverse triangle right here, and I'm gonna be working my way up into the forward triangle and all the way around the diamond. Right, the diamond is a great footwork that moves us off of the center line, attacking our opponent to the flank position, and then being able to attack back into our opponent. All right, so let's kind of work this thing out. We've already done both of these triangles, so it's gonna be pretty easy today. So I think it's gonna be kind of short. That way you can just get right on to uh, the training and pump out your rounds for the day and get that done with. So here's what we got. We're starting off going to the left. We're gonna work our way clockwise around the diamond. So we're starting at the reverse triangle. So we step reverse triangle, boom, right there. Notice how I was facing on the reverse triangle and then we're bladed coming in on the forward triangle. Kinda, kinda coincidence how that just kinda sets us up, right, on the diamond. But now I'm gonna step in on that forward triangle, boom, step it back and then drop it back right there on the reverse triangle ending at the apex of the diamond. Now let's go take a look at that again. So we got one, two, three, and four steps right there. All right, so one on the left 45, and then up the right 45 on that four triangle. Drop it back and drop it back. All right, so from right here, if you're doing it with me, we got left 45, right 45, reverse it to the right, and then reverse it to the left. So let's go ahead and get round one in together. One out of 10 rounds. So going around the whole diamond, that's one rep. We gotta do it 10 times for each round, all right? Let's work it out. So from right here, starting off, you can start off neutral if you want, you can start off in your lead. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just start off in the right lead. We've been starting neutral pretty much the whole week. So from here, let's go slow, let's just go slow so we make sure everything's coordinated for round one. And then as you're going through the rounds, feel free to speed it up, all right? So rep number one, let's go with me, left 45, Right 45, back to the right, back to the left, right there. All right, and again, number two, left, right, right, and left. Number three. Let's right, slow it down, four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do two more since it's footwork week. I right, can never get enough footwork in. 11 and 12. Right there. Now, if you're feeling extra beast mode, once you go around on the left, see if you can knock out 10 rounds going around on the right, going around counterclockwise. So from there, right, we can start with the right lead or the left lead. If we're in the left lead, looks like this, right 45, left, reverse it, and reverse it. If I'm in the right lead, it looks like this. 
boom, boom, and bop, right there, all right? That's two, we already got two done. All right, so let's go ahead and just do a round together going to the right, might as well, right? Might as well. If you uh, end up kicking your sticks or anything like that in training, not a big deal, just fix it or, they're just there to map it out. Once you have the map, you don't need the sticks anymore on the ground, okay? It's just there to map it out. Let's, let's go around to the right 10 times. We'll just go ahead and nail out one of those rounds. All right, nice and slow, kind of, somewhat. Ready? One. Two, just like you're in class learning it with me. Three. Four. Five. All right, now we're gonna kind of make it smooth. We're not gonna stop here on the apex. Six. Right into seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And since it's footwork, let's do two more. Eleven. And twelve. Boom, right there. Boom, not too bad, right? Pretty easy. The diamond bringing the reverse triangle and the four triangle together, connecting them at the base of the triangles. Again, the diamond is great. It's pure offensive footwork, quartering, getting off that center line, getting into that flank position of your opponent and then attacking back in. You know, it's just one of the best angles, right? That forward triangle, that's the angle that we're always trying to look to, uh, to achieve in our colleague. If you can get that forward triangle, man, you got, the, uh, you got the advantage, you got the upper game. So finish up your 10 rounds, go ahead and get your 10 rounds on the left, and if you're feeling extra beast mode, get those 10 rounds done on the right. It really won't take that long, especially once you got that flow and just kinda working your way around it. Plus, you know, come on, who doesn't like diamonds? Once you complete your 10 rounds on the left and your 10 rounds on the right, in the comments below, go ahead and hit done, finished, thumbs up emoji, just let me know when you have completed today's training and that way I know you're ready for tomorrow's training. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, go ahead and thrust that thumbs up button for me real quick. Make sure that you hit that bell so you turn on your notifications so that way you get notified every time the Drill A Day video is out, every time we got the new one. We got a few more weeks of this stuff, guys. We got a few more weeks, all right? So uh, don't miss any, don't miss any. Come on, consistency in our training consistency, persistence every single day. I got a discount code in the description box below if you're interested in heading over to colliecenter.com and check out any of our further training, our DVD downloads, and our training programs and courses and all the extra stuff that we have over there. That way you can go a lot deeper into your collie training with us here at Collie Center. So get outside and go make nature your collie dojo and I'll see you back here tomorrow for week six, day, Seven, the last one of the week.